I'm here with Sajan Das Joshi, who is a FIDE master and one of the very experienced players of Mumbai. Uh, he's very famous for beating Aronian in 1994. 98. 98. And today, uh, he's going to show us a game which he considers to be one of his best. best yeah. Okay, and uh, who was your opponent? Anil Landekar from Dhule, Maharashtra. Okay. And the game was played in National B 1982 at Agartala, long back. So it's 35 years old. Correct. Yes. And you were black? Yes, I was black. And uh, I was more fancied than him, so he wanted a draw with white pieces also. So he played irregular opening. Okay. Okay, so how did the game begin? Yeah, my opponent opened with knight f3, first move. Then I replied with c5. Then he played b3. Uh -huh. Then knight f6, bishop b2, e6, g3, bishop e7, bishop g2, short castles, white also castle short. Then d5, d4, b6, e3, bishop b7, uh, in bd2, and bd7, knight e5, rook c8, c4, queen c7. Now here, actually I was expecting him to play rook c1, then I would have shifted my queen to b8, then maybe he would have played queen e2. This is according to me the correct way. Then I would have placed my Rf d8 first, then Rf d1, and then only one has to take the decision in the center whether to take c into d4 or d into c4, or he can also take the decision before placing uh, the pieces on the possible uh, probable opening files. He decided to take the decision in the center first, mm -hmm. so which which is according to me not the correct policy. So he uh, captured c into d5 here. Then I captured knight into d5, then knight into d7, queen into d7, then d into c5. Now suddenly the dynamics of the game change. Mm -hmm. From a quiet opening, now here I consumed almost 45 minutes. 45? So the how about you know asking our viewers to pause here? Yeah. and try to think for yeah, 45 correct. minutes yeah <laughs> maybe because a lot of things are involved and suddenly uh, the initiative was passing in uh, in his hand mm -hmm. so i was all the time thinking why the initiative should go in his hand because he has not played rook c1 before that he has opened the center correct so that should not worry worry me at least i should have equality maybe he has, he has first more advantage so the don't the tell me that you sacrifice on e3 here uh, no, 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 it doesn't look like something like this in is in the air, no, right? No, no, not, not exactly. Yeah. So here, uh, shall I explain the game? Yeah, for sure. So if you have thought about this position, uh, now you can listen to the explanation, which is 16 moves deep. I just yeah. cannot believe it. Yes. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> my uh, first, uh, I started uh, thinking about bishop into c5, which is yes. a natural move. For sure. But then uh, he will obviously play play knight e4. Then I cannot afford to part with my bishop since the game is open now. Double bishop advantage. Yeah. So if bishop b7, then he will play queen d4. Made is threatened. So I am forced to play f6 now because no other option there. So now uh, if I have to play f6, my contention was that my queen should be transferred to f7 for second rank defense as quickly as possible. And then I am in a position to play f5, driving the knight back. And then bf6, I can challenge on the diagonal. And then that is more, uh, at least equality. But uh, it will take two moves to shift the queen to f7. So then I restarted thinking how I will get one tempo. So instead of bishop into c5, I started thinking of playing bishop a6 first. Mm -hmm. So that rook will come to e1, then bishop into c5, then n e4, then bishop b4, I will uh, attack the rook. Okay. Then queen d4 means f6. Now he has to defend his rook. Uh -huh. So r e d1. Then I will get time to shift the queen to f7. Then uh, he, he will play a3. Then the bishop can safely go to e7. But now the tactical problem starts. Queen a4, attacking the bishop, and I am losing the a7 pawn. That was the problem. Initially, I thought of uh, shifting my queen to f7. So that is why b6 was essential. But then suddenly I am losing the pawn. So here, what happens? Uh, I started calculating. Uh, I was damn sure that uh, even if we 
if I am losing the pawn, there has to be some tactical solution because I have not violated a single principle till now. On the contrary, he has not placed his rook on c1 and he has taken the decision in the center. So I started thinking if bishop b7, then here, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. then queen into a7. If he captures the pawn, then the natural move is bishop c6. He he also thought of this move, bishop c6, hoping to trap the queen with r8. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly a shocker comes, knight d6. That also I consider uh, before playing b6 because after bishop into d6 is forced now, then queen into, into f7 and then e4 and he will regain the piece and just remain pawn up or no compensation. So I was actually shocked that this this move is not working. Then what to do? And then uh, again I started rechecking and everything was uh, in order. I thought queen has to be shifted to f7 and that is why I need one tempo. That is why b6 has to be correct. But then if I am losing a pawn, there has to be some tactical solution. But if bishop c6 is not working, then uh, I thought I have to think logically. What am I missing? Then I uh, suddenly understand that f8 rook has no role. Mm -hmm. So then I started working again. Then after bishop and he, uh, the game went like that, he also uh, thought that bishop I will play bishop c6. That is why he entered in this line and captured the pawn. And he was for a uh, big surprise. Really? So uh, let me so just show, show the... the Knight e4, bishop b4. Uh, yeah, bishop 24 f6, then rfd1, uh, queen f7, a3, bishop e7, queen a4, bishop b7. He captured the pawn and then, no, not bishop c6, here rook c7. So that I am not leaving the file, I am supporting the bishop. Uh -huh. Now there is no nd6. Queen a4 looks like escaping, yeah? Yeah, ra8, I am threatening to trap the queen, so forced to play queen a4. Then I played ra8. This is how I started thinking before playing b6 only. Okay. And then uh, I considered only queen b5 and queen d4. In actual game, he played queen d4. And then that thematic move f5 came. And after nd2, bishop f6, and he lost the piece. Whoa. But if he had not played queen b4. Sorry. Uh, Queen d4, sorry. So he here he loses a piece. Yeah. And he lo lo went on to lose the game. But for queen b5, there is another beautiful variation. Then I thought that I cannot allow the queen to escape. So b a6, again attack the queen. Again queen a4 only square. Now uh, if bishop b7 is draw, he will come. So yeah. b5, I have to use all the resources. Pawn attacking this. Again if queen d4, then f5 followed by b f6 winning a piece. Mm -hmm. So now queen f5 only choice for him only choice is queen f5 and then now uh, the chink in his uh, thinking process is exposed now because I'll, I'm getting one extra tempo rook c2 clearing that diagonal for bd8 attack oh. bishop under attack if he uh, defends rook d2 then bd8 is queen is trapped queen, queen has got only go one back, yeah. so rab on forced here uh, and then again the thematic f5 will come driving for which I had prepared everything queen f7 and all now f5 means he has to come back to d2 then bd8 the queen gets trapped and the whole overboard. Wow. Otherwise queen e1 means I will just capture the piece, I am happy anyway. So, but he did not allow this variation. Otherwise this queen b forcing, yeah. yeah. At the time of playing b6 I uh, calculated everything. So this was a combination of everything means pl planning, placement of pieces, queen f7, I recognize everything possibly correctly. Every you, I think this position can also be challenging for a grandmaster actually. Possibly. In one of my camps uh, I had shown this game without telling who, who has played this game uh -huh. and all the students said this this must be Kasparov's game. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a big compliment for me. Yeah, it's true that uh, sometimes yeah. an inspired player can yeah. play yeah. much better than... And I could focus uh, quite uh, means amazingly on that particular day every day you cannot play a game of this uh, this type or or this caliber sure. because uh, he in this uh, game actually unless and until the player himself explains one will not understand the beauty of that yes, because for sure. all those uh, i would have uh, if you were not here and <laughs> i would have seen this game i wouldn't have understood the depth of this yeah correct. so thank you so much yeah. for showing us this game yeah. and truly it was a gem